When you do vitamins and minerals, you want to do moderation, especially if you're taking anticoagulants like Coumadin. You must talk to your doctor. For example, if you're taking four to 800 units of vitamin E and Coumadin or St. John's water at the same time, you could cause harm. So you must in invite your doctor into the discussion. Now, this is what I tell people in my practice as well as my newsletter subscribers. If you have renal failure or renal insufficiency, you don't want to take a lot of magnesium. It'll accumulate in your body. You also don't want to take a lot of vitamin C when you have renal failure. And if you have an entity called hemochromatosis, which means you're absorbing too much iron, and there's about 39 million people today that have that gene, if you're taking mega doses of vitamin C and have this gene for hemochromatosis, you're absorbing more iron. So you want to be careful about that, particularly if you, you are mega dosing in vitamin C. Same thing is true for zinc. If you take over 100 milligrams of zinc and you're a male, you might create illness in your body. High dose zinc may cause immunosuppression and may be bad for the prostate gland as well. The same thing is true of taking too many carotenoids like beta carotene. We used to think taking 50,000 units a day was okay. Not anymore. I'm actually down to 7,500 or 10,000 units a day. If you're taking high dose beta carotene and you're a cigarette smoker, that's a bad combination, folks, because we now know that beta carotene and people who smoke cigarettes, they can form a toxin in their lung that can actually lead to lung cancer. Calcium is another one. In my males, I don't recommend more than 750 milligrams a day. Why? Because research has shown that if you take more than 2,000 milligrams of calcium and you're a male, you can create prostate cancer or support prostate cancer. And I'll close on vitamin E. Vitamin E has gotten a lot of bad press, and I believe in it. You know, if you take four to 800 units of alpha tocopherol succinate, a natural form of vitamin E, you're gonna overwhelm your gamma receptors in your body, and you're not gonna eradicate a very dangerous radical, radical called the perioxynitrate radical. So when you take vitamin E, and I like lower dose vitamin E, folks, I like mixed tocopherols. When you take all different forms of the vitamin E, and especially with the tocotrienols, you're given what nature wanted you to take. So beware of high-dose vitamin E, especially if it doesn't contain gamma-tocopherol. Beware of high-dose mega-doses. You can run into trouble.